In this video, I'm going to be showing how I created Pear Deck from scratch in Google Slides. This is the narrated version. If you don't want the narrated version, I'll go ahead and put a link to one that just has music. So this first one, I'm creating some review questions from a previous lesson. Um, I usually start my lessons with a previous knowledge question, um, just to make sure that they remember. Here I am just copying and pasting it. Um, again, um, if I had an activity similar to this already made in a different lesson, then I would just copy and paste that entire slide. Um, and that's one of the benefits of using um, Pear Deck. So here I am, I'm just finding some GIFs to go with this. So I'm going to click there, that little Pear Deck button right in the center of that red circle that pulls up your Pear Deck controls. This is an add-on that you can add to slides that is necessary. Um, and there it is on the right hand side, you can see it pulled up. As you can see in the directions, I selected a boat. So I'm going to go navigate and find the boat draggable. I just choose fun things. I'm going to make it bigger. And there we go. There's different things, dogs, cats, tacos, whatever you want. This is a content slide. Um, you can add something here if you wanted. I don't do a Pear Deck activity every slide. It makes it kind of heavy and long and hard to get through. Again, when you're having students respond, that takes a lot of time. So now we're talking about externalities. This is another content slide. I always put the prompt in a different color. So as you can see, this text box I'm going to make, probably red is usually where I go, yep. This obviously is going to be a text activity. I animate all of my um, text boxes just so when I present, they don't pop up right away. They have to wait um, to answer the question after or when I select it to pop up. This is just content. Then I'm going to give them a scenario and they're going to respond with text, an example. So again, um, I'll select that text option. Okay, now I'm just editing here. Always add a GIF. Again, that's optional. That's a Chrome add-on, by the way, those bitmojis and uh, GIFs. Now I just copied and pasted the previous slide that where I talked about positive externalities. Now I'm going to talk about negative ones. So in this one, I'm going to have them do a draw. Um, so what I'm going to have them do, I'm going to have them circle a negative externality that they relate to or have an example of, a real life example. And then so what they're going to do is I'm going to use that draw feature in Pear Deck. So they'll circle it and then with the draw feature, they can also add a text box in which they can um, write about their uh, experience or if they did experience one of these negative externalities. Here's another copy and paste one. Now I'm giving them an example of a negative one instead of positive. This is gonna be another text activity. There's another GIF. All right, this is a content slide where actually I think I end up adding some text, text activity. So in some of these slides, I ask them several questions. So what I do is I animate it, that way it pops up one question at a time and I'm going to show in present mode here so as you can see it'll pop up as I click that way students aren't trying to answer the questions right away they'll have to wait till I'm finished discussing it and then when I click they answer they won't see the prompt right away so here I'm going to be creating a drag and drop activity um, students love this I get the most um, participation with drag and drops um, and they're really quick and easy. You can also make your draggable 
activity is super fun by making a competition. The first one to drag their fish to the correct answer wins, participation points, or whatever it is. And then again, I try to take it to the next DOK level. So in the next slide, I'm probably going to ask why. There it is. And so this will be a text activity. The next slide will be their exit ticket in which I'll be asking them to explain why walking to work is a positive externality. I doubt we get to this slide, but I'd rather have extra than not enough and at any point I could stop a Pear Deck. If we have extra time, I can also add a slide in the middle of a lesson and I can take it to the next DOK level by asking them to create their own example, which is nice too. And that's it guys, super easy, thanks for watching.